Okay, ladies and gents, this is my last clip of Mitsubishi Clips. I just wanted to get on video how extent the damage is on this. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get you to see that hole up top, and I'm going to zoom in on it right now. And you can see... I'm going to use my little magnet pointer. The, on this side and this side, you can see two bolts there. One turned around and the other one, see it? Perfect. So you can see one, two bolts just right there and they're all chewed up. So they're definitely going to need new crankshaft bolts. But uh, those are two bolts, including the one that I found that was broken. With the broken head on it. Which I'll show you that right now. But I just wanted to document that. I can zoom out. That's between the flywheel and the tuck converter. So. Pause this while I get out. Okay, so there in my magnet tray, you'll see this is one of those bolts. Got sheared clean off. Here's a piece of that. This is an exhaust bolt that snapped just trying to get it out. So I'm going to take you over here to my whiteboard and show you what's going on. Okay, I got a side view and a front view of the engine tranny and flywheel flex plate. So, from the side, this is your engine. This is the transmission, that's your torque converter. See those little red lines? One here, one up there, and then you see those three in the middle. Well, the outer ones are the torque converter bolts that come in this direction to attach the torque converter, which is this blue thing, to the actual flex plate. So that attaches it to the transmission. So from there, to attach it to the engine, these three red bolts right here are going that way into the crankshaft, which here's the crankshaft, you know, pistons and so on. So if you look at the side, this is the side view. This red arrow is the direction that it's turning. This right here are showing you the outer holes. They're not that exact many, but I think they're six, not eight. But, uh... These outer ones are the torque converter bolts that are coming this direction to the transmission. These inner ones are going that direction into the engines, and that's how it attaches the engine to the transmission. It delivers power from the motor to the tranny. Well, these ones are crankshaft bolts on the inside, torque converter bolts are on the outside. Where these ones, all these metal ones are the ones that came on loose. And it's not only just replacing you crankshaft bolts, you also have to replace these flex plate because now instead of the holes being like this, you know, perfectly round, now they're kind of egg shaped or oblong. And uh, so when you go as far as doing a job like this, we're going to have to replace all the bolts, torque converter bolts, crankshaft bolts, uh, brand new flex plate. And while you're doing that, underneath this flex plate, there's the engine oil seal. I, remain, I re recommend replacing that as well because we're right there. If it's leaking, then cool, we'll take care of it. Also, there's a transmission oil seal that goes around the torque converter I recommend replacing. So the oil seal is alone probably like $20. I'm not sure how much the flex plate and bolts are going to be, if we can even find them. And uh, But I'll do my damnedest to get a hold of whatever parts we need to get this thing together or if we're going to wait until we develop more finances to get this done so uh now balls in your guys' park uh, uh you just let me know what you guys want to do so i hope this brief description kind of tells you what's going on all right thank you have a good holiday